I see what hey chaps and chap, it's Game Chef and Birdie here. Yes. Yes, fellows, and I would say we are now discussing the question, is Super Smash Brothers on Wii U the best Super Smash Brothers yet? Well, most certainly, we're looking at the Super Smash Brothers Wii U that you know just come out there, and we are discussing whether it's the best yet, as you say, and of course there's been lots and lots of excitement about its release, we're very excited about it, and we're having a look at it and having a little review of it not. This is our review indeed, old boy. Hi, Dassey, of course, this is the latest entry in Nintendo's blockbuster fighting franchise, which started all the way back in 1999 with Super Smash Brothers on N64, but of course, fast forward to 2014, and expectations are high. Expect expectations for this title in particular were very high, with lots and lots of hype being built up, and the question is, does the game live up to all of what fans want it to be? Well, most certainly yes indeed, and no doubt if you're listening you're very interested in this, so sit back and have a good listen, and see what you think, and please put your comments in there, see what you'd like to hear what you say, and what you feel about it, etc, so forth. Now they've added some interesting new things, like the Smash Tour for example, but just because they've added those things, it doesn't mean to necessarily say that it is a good gameplay game, so let's look at this. That's right, Hellboy. Of course, the game is judged on what it actually does, and firstly, I think we have to take a look at the presentation and polish of the game, which is something that's very important and normally always shines through in Nintendo games. Now, have we got that same standard here, old chap? Well, I think we have it to a certain extent, most certainly. It's got a very good interface, rather good menus, and good music. Now, arguably, they always have good music, but yes, it's well done, well bolted together, I think. That's right, old boy. Evidently, Mr. Sakurai and his team have put an awful lot of work into this title. They've really worked and burned the midnight oil, and it does show. We've got a very, very satisfying package here with the usual Nintendo standard of mastery. Now, the menu design itself perhaps feels a little bit dated or broady in some areas, but it gets the job done and has some very nice touches, those scrolling characters in the background, the nice sort of uh, background behind the fighters on yes, the select stage yes. there with the, the pulsating and emanating sort of glow it produces. Sir. It's all very satisfying and really feels very, very solid, as you say, old chap. Almost certainly. Now, of course, another very, very important thing for any game, especially this type of game, is, of course, the graphics. The graphics, that's right. Most certainly. Now, in 1080p, of course, when you've got the 1080p graphics up there, it looks absolutely excellent, I think. Very well done. It's very appealing. Indeed, it can't be said anything otherwise, old boy. We really are looking at a large step up over Brawl here. Now, of course, the character models themselves may not be that much higher resolution than Brawl, but the overall package, the way it's presented, the way it hits the eye, really is quite stunning and has to be seen on a big screen in 1080p. Yes. It's very, very nice. There's a few jaggies perhaps in the 720p mode, but again, who really plays that these days? It's all about 1080p, you know. Well, yes, it most certainly is. Uh, you've got a few blurry low-res textures here and there, especially on the older stages, like Luigi's Mansion, and also the clapping characters on the match results screen, etc. Yes. But, you know, maybe we're just nitpicking there, but it's there nevertheless. Yes, yeah, so there's a couple of nitpicks. I mean, some characters still have uh, two frames snapping mouths, as it were, when they talk. Also, some characters have a few clipping issues on the models, like Captain Falcon's scarf. Um, also, some returning stages are presented better than others. For example, Congo Jungle looks a bit dated now, but being, of course, a 64 stage. Yes. Might expect that, I suppose, but the temple has been redone in HD and looks really superb, you know. Well, most certainly. Now, looking at the particle effects, well, they look rather good, very good, and the overall appearance of the game is, oh, well, certainly, the sharpest jet of them all. Certainly, old boy. The particle effects, the, uh, the smashes, the strikes, the hits, the clashes, they're all superbly rendered. The trophies also have excellent detail and are well worth collecting. Yes, most certainly they do. So it's it's scoring well on the graphic side of things, most certainly, and also on the presentation side as well. I, th I don't think anyone can argue with that. Certainly better than anything we've seen before. But then, being on the Wii U, we expect that. I mean, it's been a long time since the last one. That's right. So, you know, we're saying it's good on the one end, but then we should really, I think, be saying, well, yes, we expect that. It's an expensive game, etc. so forth. We expect to see that. Of course, old boy. Certainly they have had quite a high standard to live up to there. It's been a long time since Brawl, as you say, and I think the team have come through here. Of course, you have to say... They're comparing themselves against other fighting games on the market, like perhaps Dead or Alive, which have very impressive graphics. No, sir. But certainly, for the style of the game, we are seeing a very, very pleasing and well-presented package that certainly provides a lot of eye candy. Now, right. of course, the next topic we have to look at is the sound. Well, most certainly, yes, the sound is important, and you, we have games, there are games out there where the sound's abysmal, but, you know, the, the sound on this one, yes, well, as we said, the music, very, very good, excellent, even. yes. Now, well composed and provides a fresh spin, etc., on the old tracks, which is rather fun. That's right, Elby, we have a huge array of music on 
on offer many, many new pieces, remixes of old themes. The main Super Smash Bros. 4 theme in particular is used many times, and of course, it's quite pleasing there, well done. There's also new sounds for move hit effects and fighting mechanics, and these are generally very satisfying and fit the theme very well, in fact, perfectly. Well, yes, certainly they do, most certainly. Now, the old tracks that are on there are notably more MIDI sounding, as it were, i.e., lower quality, etc. Some of them can be, yes, I think. Uh, yes, and some character voices are barely audible in their taunts, and Fox's new voice sounds a little, well, odd, I suppose. That's right, a couple of complaints say, indeed, it's quite hard to hear what they're saying sometimes when you taunt, and Fox's new voice, as you say, um, lay on the master, it's, uh, it's a bit strange, you know, it doesn't quite sound foxy enough to me, but uh, these are minor complaints, and of course, the variety of music on offer can't be argued with, and it provides an entertaining diversion to collect all the CDs in the game. Well, yes, I suppose it, their, their voices are a little bit barely audible, especially when you're shouting at the screen and screaming, why did that happen? <laughs> yes, the, but Captain Fulton can clearly be heard when he says, show me your moves. Yes, he's okay, yes. Yes. So, most certainly, now, coming on from there to the gameplay. Now, gameplay, of course, is what it's all about. At That's the end right. Of the day, this is what people are interested in. The sound and the graphics are nice and they add to it, of course, but the gameplay is once you're in it, is what you're concentrating on. That's right, you are, old boy. Now, of course, there's a vast roster of 51 fighters, including me. Is that the biggest Super Smash Brothers roster yet? The largest number of fighters we've seen, and possibly more DLC on the way. So that's going to keep you busy for a very long time. And also, of course, updates to the game, patches, etc., and so forth, should address any balance issues which may arise, and for example, which may have arisen so far, like uh, they just had a patch recently that nerfed some characters and buffed others. So I think we're going to be seeing more of that soon. Well, that, that's a big... They're just cutting in there. Now, everyone will no doubt be thinking that. That is a big thing. As we said on one of the uh, 3DS reports, I believe, um, if they're bringing this sort of thing in, it may, have been, it may have been on this one, but if they're bringing DLC and updates in, or not DLC, but updates in this matter, in this case, then there could be where these uh, updates are changing the character's gameplay, etc. That's and upsetting right. people's, you know, the, the general way that they play, etc. And people have to relearn them, etc. But perhaps it's a good thing because it keeps the game fresh for the community, old chap. Well, maybe, yes, but I can hmm. see people getting upset if they've learned a certain style of moves with a certain character and then they change it slightly, they've got to learn it again. Well, boo-hoo, eh? Well, yes. But, yes, well anyway. It's, it's certainly a valid point, old chap, yes. yes. Now, of course, 46 stages. These provide a good variety of battlefields to play on. Many, of, of course, are taken from older games like Midi and Smash 64 and Brawl. Well, yes, certainly, and as you say, many taken from the older games now. This is an old favourite of Nintendo. They do tend to put older courses and things in. For example, Mario Kart. We can see the older courses in the newest version, etc. They like doing that. So there's some creativity with new stages there, but they've also borrowed from the old as they often do. Yes, old boy. 46 stages, that, nu that number of course is not all new stages, you do have many old favourites showing up, but not necessarily a bad thing. For example, many fans might be pleased to see the return of Congo, Jungle, etc. and so forth. Well, yes, perhaps. Now, the fighting system, it is faster than Brawl and slower than Melee. That's right. Yes, it's sort of somewhere in between the two, I suppose. It strikes a balance, that's right. Now, the fighting system itself is fast, balanced and rewarding to play, offering a deep fighting game experience that goes far beyond a simple button mashing exercise. Indeed, it may look on the surface like a masher, but of course, for those of you who are perhaps more seasoned with the game, you'll know there's a very, very deep amount of uh, many, many layers and depths of Super Smash Brothers. Of course, you have to understand the intricacies of each fighter and projectile yeah. users versus up-close fighters, etc. and so forth. HD graphics and reworked camera positioning makes fights easier to see. Very important. Well, yes, that is very important, but I would still say we've still got the thing with this game where it tends to, when there's a lot of characters on the screen, it tends to be rather difficult to see what's going on in this zooming in and zooming out sort of effect that Smash Brothers has always had. Certainly, so yes. That's the thing I've got to say about it. If only they could do something about that, I suppose it's difficult, but mm. it's not the sort of thing we see in other games, so this is sort of unique to them in many ways. It's Super Smash Brothers, yes, it does have this, uh, this facet where, of course, there's lots and lots going on the screen, there's four characters items flying all over the place, the yes. camera zooming in and out, so you really have to be on your toes. But of course, having a large screen in 1080p does help with that, I think, old boy. Well, now, yes. of course, there's a very wide selection of control options and customization on offer. This allows fine tuning to suit your exact playing style, and the best, albeit most expensive, input method may still be the good old-fashioned GameCube controller with its lagless inputs. Now, that's something that will be important, of course, for serious players. 
Uh, well, most certainly, yes, yes, the controller is important, and there's various ones you can use with this one, but as you say, the game shoot the cube controller option seems to be, for what we can see in the community, or here, the best at the moment. Of course, you need a special adapter to use it, I believe. That's right, a rather pricey adapter. Which means you're, as you say, having to pay out. Having to pay for the controller yeah. and the adapter, which of course only works with Smash Brothers, I understand, so there's some considerations for that to take into account. And now, would it be, would it, I'm just chipping in here, Yes. perhaps it would have been a nice idea, since the game's so expensive, to just chuck a controller in with it like in the old days was did they do it with Mario 64? I think uh, they did. I don't think they did actually. I'll check uh, no. Uh, well anyway, online is of course a very playable and enjoyable mode. This is the online meat and potatoes of the game that many people will be using each day. Yes. That does pose an issue, I must say, with particularly close fights often being decided by whoever has the lag vantage, as it were. Now yes. there are some questionable online features I have to say. For example, you'll get you'll get bands dished out to you automatically if you engage in unsporting behaviour, like uh, for example, disc connecting from a very laggy match, or, uh, for example, uh, killing yourself too many times. So, And also, I understand you can only taunt so many times, so there's many, many steps that Nintendo have taken to control people's behaviour online, which is quite unusual, but nonetheless, that's the way they're doing it, and hopefully it will help prevent, in any case, some of the griefing we've seen in past Smash Brothers outings. Well, uh, yes, well, hang on, just, just have a look at that a minute. The lag. Well, yes, we. I've played there online, and I've seen some of the lag. I've certainly seen lag online, and you know, I think that really it shouldn't be there. Now, we know that lag is caused by a hundred million different things, but those servers should be rock solid, and it should, you know, lag should not be a problem, because if you're playing a game, then the last thing you want is lag, you're going to lose very easily if it's against you, etc., so forth. And also, of course, as you say, this whole banning thing, well, I think it's fair to ban people if they're hacking, then that's fine. But I think just banning them for doing certain things within the game too much is rather questionable, in my opinion. It's a bit extreme, I think. I, think it is. I mean, certainly I think they may have to review their policy on that one. They might, for example, say they no longer do that sort of thing, but uh, certainly for now, banning is something to consider if you do plan on going online, but it's rather strange. You've got to beat your foes and the bans, you see. But yes. uh, anyway, now of course, indeed, as regards the stages, for glory mode is of course the competitive mode on the game, which pits you one-on-one, -on -one, or with up to four players, fighting with items turned off. Now, if you play one-on-one -on -one for glory, you have to, of course, consider that it's only Final Destination with no items. Now, of course, this does mean that some types of characters like Little Mac and Projectile users may have an advantage due to the way fat stages work, but, of course, Four Glory stages on the Wii U version yes. appear to be a bit smaller, I'd say, than on the 3DS version, meaning that uh, this may not be so much of a problem, because, of course, if it's more close quarters, then the, uh, the camping and the projectile using, etc. and so forth is less of an issue. Well, yes, I suppose it is. So that's an interesting part that they've added to that. Now, just looking at the main fighting game mode, well, it's superbly crafted, we think, and has endless potential, with old modes like Special Smash, Item Switch, Timed and Stop Battles, all making a return. Now, I did say old modes there. You see, could they perhaps have introduced something new there? Well, I think they have, otherwise. Certainly, the staples, as you see, of the series are pleasant and correct. We've also got new modes there, like Smash Tour and Event Matches. Now, of course, the Event Matches return from Brawl, but Smash Tour is quite new. This is a bit like a, well, it's a party game of some sort, old chap. You yes. see, but there's, actually, there's no adventure mode in this outing of Smash Brothers at all. The single-player adventure component is gone. But yes. we do have this Smash Tour party mode, which is, I think, it's, it has a bit of sparkle, I'd say, than the main game mode, but it's certainly there and playable, and indeed very good for casuals. But, uh, of course, indeed, it's, I suppose, like a bonus, old chap. Now, well, yes, it, it is a bit of a bonus. To be honest, it, uh, hardcore Smash Brothers players aren't going to be playing that. I no. think it's just something that's there you can fiddle with if you want to. With Grandma, maybe, I suppose. Oh, yes, with Grandma, that's right, yes. Other new modes include the ability to play stadium events, like the home run contest with your friends, and the all-important new eight-man smash is here. Now, this is, of course, a rather exciting first for the series. At the moment, currently, it's offline only, but it is, nonetheless, a very fresh spin on the old classic fighting game. Well, it was certainly is an interesting one there, the Eight Man Smash, but once again I'm coming back now to how it looks when they're all on the screen. It's jolly hard to see what's going on, and you're zooming in and out, so this is, I've already said this, but I'm coming back to it. Uh, it's, a, it's a criticism I'm putting out that I think they should be able to do something about, and uh, it's still there, it's still in the game, it's always been in Brawl. I suppose it does indeed come down to how you play the game, whether it's one-on-one -on -one or four players, and then of course many uh, serious and pro players of this game will actually play only one-on-one. -on -one. Yes. There's a rare team battle thrown in, so perhaps not so much of an issue, depending on how you use it, I say. Yes. Now, of course, as said, there is no adventure mode, which is a break in tradition since Melee, but the classic mode is present in a reworked form, and also there's a new Master Orders mode, which sees you taking challenges from the Master Hand or the Crazy Hand himself.
Aha, so this is some sort of challenge thing, is it? That's right, old boy. So right. adding some depth to the game, there's also other things you can do, like Trophy Rush and, uh, of course, the Stage Builder, which is much better this time round. So, really, they've poured a lot of effort into making sure there's a good depth of content to get your teeth into. Most certainly, yes. It's, it's, it's not a cheap job. They haven't rushed through it. You can see that all the things we've just covered there are in place. And to be honest, you know, for the, what the game is, uh, uh, you know, th there's possibly better, and I think there are better graphic fighting games out there, but you know, this is unique to Mario feel and all the rest of it, and very much Nintendo. And I think with their style and their niche of the market that they're dealing with, they've done probably one of the best things they could do with it, they've, in terms of gameplay, sound, graphics, etc. I think so, and I think when you see graphics, you have to, of course, consider what you're looking at. Are you looking for realism or cartoon effects or Nintendo? And I think, you know, yes. if you say you're looking for the sort of style that Smash Brothers is, you can't really argue with what they've done, El Chap. It really no. is very impressive to the eye. And certainly, there's a lot of eye candy, as I say, on off here. Well, most certainly, yes. They've done, they've done a good job. This will be certainly one of their big flagship releases for a very long time, I think. I think um, so. You know, well, not with Donkey Kong they had last time. It didn't really go off as well as they thought. Uh, this is a big, big uh, title, and there's a lot of people interested in it, and rightfully so. And I think they'll be looking to shift a lot of Wii U units, certainly, by with this particular game. Uh, oh, this yes. and, of course, Mario Kart marking their two biggest multiplayer franchises. And certainly, a lot of the, what their hopes are riding on this game. It has to be good, and I think they've really done a good job in bringing Smash Brothers up to date in 2014. Well, most certainly, yes, of course, and with what with the talks or the rumours or the sort of whispers about possibility of DLC coming in for this game, then of course, there, and of course the updates would, could, which could improve certain parts of it, perhaps if there's problems, glitches or whatever that are uncovered, then that's a good thing, and of course the DLC can add to the fun of it and keep this thing alive for quite some time. I think so, old boy. So there you have it, Super Smash Bros. for Nintendo Wii U Vales. It's finally here. What do you think? There's our take on it. Certainly the gameplay, graphics and sound are all there, and small flaws don't take away from this game being one of Nintendo's best titles, and in our opinion, the best Super Smash Brothers yet, you know. Oh, this is a big thing to say, but it, it looks like it is. Now, once again, as we said, what do you think? Is it the best, or do you think one of the older ones was better? Was Melee better? Was Brawl better? Was 64 better? Or yeah. is this the best? What do you think, fellas? That's yes. been our take. Thank you for having me join us with Game Chat and Buddy talking Super Smash Brothers. Oh, and we look forward to seeing you once more on the next exciting Andy Guys here. Until then!